Hey guys, so I've been working on this for a little bit of time, uh, and it's my affordable alternatives to the Augustinus batter, the cream. And they have a couple versions. They have the cream, which is like the regular version. They have the light cream, which is more for oily skin types. And then they have the rich cream, which is kind of for more dry skin types. And I've got uh, that factored in how I mention these alternatives. Um, none of these are going to be like very, very identical dupes because uh, this has kind of a unique formula. But these are the closest alternatives I could find. And this stuff is expensive. Uh, one ounce of it retails for $180. Um, so I have the half size, although I've also, anytime I see it in the rewards section at Sephora, I pick up the little bottles. So I've tried, I've tried it a decent amount. And uh, anyway, so it's expensive. It's lovely. The texture is great. The ingredients are wonderful. Um, and it's unique because the regular cream version is great for oily and dry skin types as well as combo. It's really unique. Kind of similar in the way the Proteini is great for most skin types. It doesn't happen often where you get a nice moisturizer that works great for everybody, but it's kind of like that in a way. It's fragrance-free. The ingredient uh, features that I'm really looking for are peptides, vitamin C, superoxide dismutase, amino acids, retinal palmitate, ceramides, aloe, uh, the wonderful thing, it's got the antioxidants, the cell communicating ingredients, skin soothing ingredients, and it's really great for anti-aging, loss of firmness, uneven skin texture, brightening skin tone, uh, dark spots. It's really just a great product. Uh, it's great for older skin and younger skin can appreciate it as well just because it's so well formulated and just lovely and works great under sunscreen and foundation. And it works great morning and evening. So it's a wonderful product, but it is freaking expensive. So, especially if you use it liberally. So, here are some alternatives. And I'm going to start out with this newest product on this list of products I've got. It just came out recently, and I am loving it. And it is super affordable. And I know I've talked about it a lot in a lot of my videos recently since I got it, but I love it. And that is the Neogen High R Exosome Cream. And this is 40 milliliters, and it retails for $19. So I will link to all these below. I love this stuff. I love it a lot. Uh, anyway, so here's a little dab of it. But the texture of this stuff is just so wonderful, and I'm really enjoying using this in my morning and evening routines. And it doesn't come along. Usually a cream or moisturizer comes along, and I instantly delegate it to one or the other. Yeah, is it really hydrating and great for nighttime? Or does it soak in really fast and work great under foundation? But this one does all of it, and it's affordable, and I love it. And uh, very affordable, so the prawns, pros, sorry, prawns, pros. Very affordable, creamy texture, fragrance-free, peptides, amino acids, vitamin C, and panthenol. And the cons, I couldn't think of any because I love it. So check it out. It's lovely. You won't be disappointed, I hope. And if you are, you can leave a comment anyway and let me know I'm wrong, why I love it. But anyway. Okay, so next up we've got the Skin Fix Barrier Lipid Peptide Lotion. 50 milliliters retails for about $42. It's a little bit pricey, but I really do enjoy this stuff. This is my third bottle of it. I just picked this up. Uh, actually, I ran out of it uh, last month, I think I finished it, or two months ago. And then when I started working on this video, I thought I should pick this one up because it's worth mentioning. So pros for this one, similar texture, fragrance-free, shea butter, peptides, soybean, rice protein, aloe. The cons, it's still a little pricey. Um, let me let me prime this pump for you guys, and I'll give you guys a little shot of this one. Sorry, I'm prime. I should have primed it before the video. But anyway, it's got a pretty similar texture. So this one's probably a little bit more friendly for oilier skin types because you can use it just like a moisturizer without it, the heaviness. Uh, which goes into my next one, which is their cream, their triple lipid peptide cream, which is $54 for 50 milliliters. Or they have the super duper size, which might be worth checking out. I will link to it below. Uh, the pros for this one, again, fragrance free. And then it's got the shea butter, it's got the rice bran, it's got the ceramides, the squalane, the vitamin E. The cons, I guess, the texture is a little bit more thick. It's more similar to the Augustinus Batter Rich Cream. So this one, I would say, is more friendly for the dry skin gals out there. Well, this one's a more similar dupe for the oilier skin gals out there. So I, I've done a review on this one. But anyway, I'll give you guys a little, little texture of it. But anyway, so really lovely, though. Great for uh, winter and evening routines, what I really like it for. So 
Okay, next up, we've got the, I don't know why I've been I'm talking about this one a lot lately. I've had it for a while, but anyway, the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidant Cream, uh, 50 milliliters retails for $115, which is still really expensive, which I'll talk about in the cons. Okay. So the pros of this one, very similar texture to the Augustinus Batter. It's fragrance-free. I think almost all of these except one are fragrance-free. Uh, peptides in here, vitamin C, the ceramides, the vitamin E. The cons, again, it's still pricey. So it does save you some money, which is nice uh, because, well, it's $108, $120 for 50 milliliters, whereas the Augustinus Batter is $180 for one ounce. So or uh, what would one ounce be? 30 milliliters. But it is really lovely, and it really is a do-it-all moisturizer. It's really got a lot of great ingredients in there. So really worth checking out for aging skin. If you're youthful, you probably don't necessarily need all the anti-aging in here. But anyway, really lovely. Okay, next up, we've got the Tula Protect and Plump Cream, which is 45 milliliters for $64. Why would they... That's strange. Usually you see it like 50 milliliters, 30 milliliters, 100 milliliters, not 45 milliliters, but they're going to save that 5 millimeters, milliliters. Anyway, okay, so the pros for this one, very similar texture again, fragrance-free, squalane, shea butter, peptides, vitamin E, the cons. I guess it doesn't look that bad after the Allies of Skin, but it's still kind of pricey, but still pretty darn affordable. I, I just love the packaging for this one. I just think it's very unique and innovative, but it's got a very similar texture to the uh, Augustinus batter. So there we go. I'm making use of my arm today. Okay, next up. This one might be deviating a bit, but it is still, if you listen, it still has some nice similarities. That is the Ceramedics Facial Lotion, 120 milliliters for $17. So the pros, this one's very, very, very affordable, fragrance-free again. We've got ceramides in here, vitamin E, We've got a vitamin C derivative, shea butter, aloe. The cons with this one, the texture is a bit thicker. It's not quite as aesthetically pleasing to use, but if you're going to just use this one maybe in your evening routine, what the heck? I mean, I don't care if I go to bed with a slimy, greasy face. If I saved $100 or... um, That'd be like $300. $300. $80? If I save $380, I'm fine going to bed with a greasy face. So anyway, so this one's another one worth mentioning. Uh, one more and then I've got a runner up. Okay, next up is the Olivieria Comfort Barrier Cream, which is a K-Beauty product. Uh, it's $20 for 50 milliliters and uh, it's cruelty-free and lovely. Um, so the pros with this one, I already said it's cruelty-free, which is great. I guess I should have added that as a criteria, but I didn't. But anyway, fragrance-free, it's affordable. We've got squalane, shea butter, ceramides. The cons with this one, there's no peptides, which is kind of a bummer, but because that's kind of the big factor with the uh, Augustinus batter. But anyway, it's still worth mentioning. Um, okay, and then last but not least, we've got the Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Firming Moisturizer. 50 milliliters retails for $45. Um, the pros, great texture, friendly for most skin types. We've got the peptides in here. We've even got copper peptides in here. We've got aloe. We've got vitamin C. And the cons with this one, sadly, it does contain uh, bergamot oil, which is kind of a bummer. So uh, it, the scent for the bergamot oil is light. It dissipates pretty quickly, but it's still there, and it's a bummer. And I think this could have been just a home run for them without that one ingredient. So maybe in the future, they'll heed my advice because it could be a total winner but anyway so I will link to that one below and then a few runners up that are worth mentioning that I've heard mentioned often as dupes but products I personally have yet to try so I'm not going to vouch for them but I just thought it's worth mentioning uh, if it helps save you guys some money and uh, this one I'm actually going to put an order in for the baby face mega lift anti-aging face cream it looks pretty affordable I've been meaning to try the baby face brand so I'm going to be picking that one up. Uh, the Bliss What a Melon Reviving and De-Stressing -de Overnight Mask. Uh, the M61 Hydro Boost Cream. And then last but not least, the My Shell Supreme Polypeptide Cream Unscented. That's another one I've been meaning to try. However, I'm not sure if the ingredient list on it is, is incorrect, but they have a couple versions. My Shell does. 
Um, and even the, the unscented one does have uh, essential oil in it. So I don't know, but maybe it's an error. But it's pretty affordable. And it's also been mentioned a lot as a dupe for the Proteiny Cream. So anyway, I've been meaning to try that one out. So anyway, interesting from you guys. If you have any alternatives that are affordable that I didn't mention, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.